AutoCAD Properties versus TurboCAD Selection Info In this movie we will discuss the similarities of the AutoCAD Properties palette with that of the TurboCAD Selection Info palette. In AutoCAD, in order to dock and undock the palettes, you can right-click the title bar and choose to dock it on the left or on the right. In TurboCAD, you can simply drag the title bar as illustrated in the previous movie. We then have this automatic opening of the palette when you hover over one of the docked palettes similar to the functionality found in TurboCAD when the palettes are not pinned. In this example we can see from the properties palette that when an X reference is selected this information is shown in the palette. We then need to bind the X reps into the drawing so that we can interrogate each item within that reference. Once the XREF has been turned into a block reference, we can then explode it to turn it into its individual entities, which in this case are just lines. We can now select individual lines and view the properties by clicking on the Design tab within the Properties palette. This functionality is extremely similar to that of TurboCAD. Switching back to TurboCAD, which contains the same drawing already in exploded form, you can see that when we select an entity and switch to the Selection Info palette, you can see similar information by expanding each category. Comparing this to AutoCAD, you can see there is similar information, such as the length of the line. In AutoCAD, you can edit some of these fields, but not as many as in TurboCAD. Switching to TurboCAD, we can see we can select a line and then click the Length field and enter the value where this is not possible in AutoCAD. Other information, such as the angle, etc., can also be changed. The next thing we want to take a look at is the color of entities, and we see that the AutoCAD program, typically the line color is, said, the line color is set to be equal to that of the layer which it is on. If we were to draw a new line in AutoCAD, it takes the current default settings, which in this case is layer 0, and the color matching that of the layer. Changing the default layer in the Properties palette to be different will allow you to draw a line on that layer. Then you can see how the new line takes on the color of that layer. Now the question is, how do we achieve the same functionality in TurboCAD? You can see that when we select a specific line in TurboCAD, that the Properties toolbar at the top of the screen shows the layer and other settings, such as color thickness and line pattern and line width. If we draw a new line with the TurboCAD default settings, they are set to draw on the current layer but to draw the line as black with a zero width. If the line tool is selected and we have not yet started the drawing operation, any changes to the property pull-down or selection info palette will allow you to change the default properties of that tool. We see that you can choose the option by layer available in each of these drop-down selections. The brush pattern offers additional functionality that is not available in AutoCAD unless it is specifically a hatch entity. For now, we will leave the setting as none. Now we choose an alternative layer and draw a new line and it takes on the settings of that layer. Now, when we change to a different tool such as the circle, all the default settings are displayed as to what the line tools were originally set to. This means that each of these different tool groups have their own default settings. This functionality can be changed via the Program Setup Advanced Preferences, where you can choose to change these default settings for all tool presets. Another method of changing the tool group properties, another method of changing the tool group's properties prior to the drawing is to right-click the tool you intend to use and then to set its properties by the Properties dialog that will appear. These are the same settings that are edited via the pull-down or Selection Info palette, but are now being edited via this custom dialog.